Hello everyone. Seems like there's been a lot of controversy on this uh, Tesla vehicle to grid thing. So uh, I wanted to uh, dispel any uh, <laughs> possibility that I'm doing this wrong or that these are just mismarked, uh, that they're actually transistors of some kind and they're marked D. Um, uh, these they Tesla uses these same packages for both the the FETs and the diodes, so it's easy to get confused. These seem to be a custom package. I can't find them anywhere else. Um, I like the package; it's a really cool way of doing it. Um, they all have seven legs, and on the diodes, they bonded all these together internally. So the meter is on continuity, and all these legs, no matter where you go, you can see it's all soldered to one pad here underneath. If you look closely, so. Um, there's only two terminals, all the legs and then the, the, the tab, which is soldered here. So from my little drawing here, you can see this is where the output of the transformer normally lives. <clears throat> and they go right into to it as the circuit. So if we connect to one leg of the transformer, it's connected to the cathode here and the anode here. Likewise, this one is connected to the cathode here and the anode here. And then um, you've got this going to the positive battery terminal along with this. Likewise, the two, cath uh, yeah, two anodes here going to negative. And uh, if we put this on diode drop, I believe these are silicon carbide. Open that direction. And we got 0.38 volts drop across them. And they're all this way. So does it mean that uh, this can't do bidirectional correct? These are diodes. Uh, power can't go back through these diodes from the battery pack. It's just not possible. Um, does it mean that Tesla can't do this, that they're not doing it in current production or in the future? Of course, they could replace these with switches, uh, just like we see over here. And uh, you'd have to do a lot of changes to the board other than that. Um, for one, it looks like they're using, I'll show you. This is the TMS320 uh, DSP. It's got 24 hardware PWMs. And by my count, they've used them up in these stages and in the 12 volt DC DC stage. So I don't think we have quite enough um, unless they start using some gate drivers that um, have a little intelligence in them that can do both the high side and low side with the uh, dead time. But uh, also the, the other giveaway, which you can see without even taking the, the PCS apart, just take the cover off. Over here is all the drive electronics, gate drivers. We got transformers for the power supplies, things like that. Um, and that's for driving the transistors on the bottom. But over here you can clearly see there's nothing. We don't have any gate drivers because there are no gates to drive. Over here, we, we see some. All this is for gate driving these four, which drive this transformer for the DC to DC. So I guess that, that kind of nails the coffin shut on this. Uh, yes, this is a late 2018 board. Um, you know, I have looked at some newer ones. Um, I haven't seen any marked changes. Doesn't mean what's coming off the line now can't can't be capable of it. But that just means, you know, what, uh, you know, uh, half a million cars already produced are not going to have the capability. Um, I guess that about uh, closes the case. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, just wanted to clarify things. Take care.